Welcome to the new segment of the grade 9th. We are discussing 4th chapter of the history in that forest society and colonialism. So, so in this chapter we discussed two important subtopics. Now next move to the another one subtopic that is rebellion in the forest. So rebellion in the forest how it has happened. The how in uh, in many parts of the India we can see that not only the India in the world also we'll get so many communities which those are uh, totally depend upon a forest product forestry things only they will utilize the what the forest product they can get easily they will run the life of the forest product but unfortunately because of these british rule rules and regulations they are the made to people rebel to oppose the british um, government or the rules and regulations what they are the made the forest communities it was a huge change and it is a beginning of imposed of a people that is a main we can recall uh, the previous years uh, all the um, movements we can uh, recall about the eight standard here the some movements for these forest communities by the forest communities that is uh, sidhu and kanu in the santal pragans and birsa munda of chatti uh, chota nagpur or aluri sitaram raju of andhra pradesh we can recall them still also we can recommend it and leader in front of the people and they are the made them in front of a british government and they are we can recall we can hear one more uh, king of uh, bastar it is in uh, about around 1910 we can understand about how the people are became a rebellion in the forest the people of bastar it is a bas um, bastar it is it is located in the southern most part of chatisgarh and borders of um, andhra pradesh and odisha and maharashtra the center of uh, uh, central part of the bastar it is on the plateau and the north of the plateau chatisgarh plain and to its south in the goli plain the river indra vati winds across bastar east to west number of uh, different communities they are the living in uh, the bastar such as uh, maria and muria gonds and durvas durvas batras and holdas and their speaking language the communication language the customs and beliefs they are the totally different 
and these people they are the believed that villages of where they are the living that is a land of the earth the earth by the making some offerings which is the main important that is agriculture festival in as a tradition of the earth they are the showing the huge respect of to the spirit the spirit spirituals spirituals they are the believed that the natural gods river forest trees mountains and they are the village they are the having the boundaries like uh, the local people that is they are the using the natural boundaries in their where they are the living the people of the village they want to some woods from the forest of any other village they are the called for them devsari band or man in exchange they are the exchanging the wood to the one village to another village they are the protecting these forest and they are the emerging in the, among the people of themselves as a watchman and each household they are the contributing to they are contributing the grow of uh, grains in a uh, agriculture the every year they are the hunting here they used to be hunt uh, that is where the headman of what they doing in a forest so this is a a one a part of the community which we are the learned you can check it out all these points in your ncrt textbook thank you